When competing in robotics, making this calculation and programming it will drastically speed up your programming workflow. You need to be able to convert centimeters into the robot's native values, which are degrees. By telling the robot how many degrees to move, you're telling the number of degrees that the motor needs to spin to move the wheel. It is almost impossible to estimate the distance a motor needs to travel in degrees, but you can easily get a ruler and measure the distance in centimeters, which is what this calculation is going to do. To make this conversion, I'll use a little map and this spike wheel as an example. Before I show you any more, subscribe to the channel and like this video. So to begin, I'm just going to lay out an outline of what I'm going to do. I want to find the diameter of my wheel, and I'm going to convert it to circumference, which is the distance around the wheel. And so in this case here, the diameter would be from here to here, and the circumference would be the distance around like this. And the circumference is relevant because when the motor spins 360 degrees, the wheel is going to travel the distance of the circumference. So to find the circumference, I'm going to first find the diameter. And to find the diameter, I'm just going to take my ruler and measure. And so from one end to the other end, you'll see that the value is 5.2 centimeters. So that's going to be my diameter. But that could change depending on what wheel you have and how used it is. So now to find circumference, the formula is pi d. And this is mathematical, so I'm not going to explain it, but you can search up how this formula works on your own. And so when I plug in my value of 5.2 centimeters for my diameter, I get 16.34 centimeters as my circumference. So that means that every time that this wheel rotates, it will travel 16.34 centimeters. And now what I need to do is create a formula that I can use to find unknown degree values given a centimeter input. So we know that 360 degree rotations will make the wheel travel 16.34 centimeters. And we want to find an unknown amount of degrees, which is y, for an unknown amount of centimeters, which I'll set as x. And what I want to do is just isolate for the variable y here. And to do this, I'm going to move x to this side by multiplying on both sides. And I will get 360 multiplied by x divided by 16.34. And this will give me the value in degrees of how much the motor needs to spin given an input x, which will be the centimeters that I want to go. So this formula here can be entered into whatever programming tool you're using in order to give you the desired output in degrees. I shown two implementations here with the spike python and spike block programming interfaces, but it can be adapted for whatever interface you're using. Suppose you had a function that ran this formula and you wanted your robot to travel 10 centimeters, so x would be 10. And so to find y, I would just plug in 10 centimeters for x, and your program would do this if this is a function. And you would calculate that the value here would be 220.32 degrees. And so this would automatically rotate your motor 220.32 degrees if you tell it to go 10 centimeters. And this makes it really convenient because you can just use this function as your input into the motor distance and you'd be able to move your robot with centimeter inputs instead of giving the value in degrees. And if you notice here, I left this at two decimal places, and this is because most Lego robots are not going to be able to get the accuracy needed to go anywhere beyond that, and from my experience, anything more than 0.1 centimeters becomes inaccurate. And so that means that this value of 220.32 degrees might not be what your robot ends up moving at. It could maybe end up going at 221 degrees or 219, but this is the closest that you're going to get, and so I would recommend just directly inputting whatever value you get here into your motor, as I've shown in this example here. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.